What's up guys? We're back with another DCUO video and today we're going to be talking about the fastest method to grind the new currency which is the Aether. First, let it be known that the only way to get Aether is from the open world bosses. Now this isn't necessarily a bad thing because this pretty much forces you to get a ton of feats that will happen via you doing these bosses which just gives you a ton of skill points while grinding so this this is actually a good thing. I'll go ahead and voice my opinion about the whole uh, like bounty thing. I think it's great. I don't mind it. And you'll see why at the end when I explain all the math, but I think it's great. That being said, let's get into how to grind. So first and foremost, you need to know that the spawn time between bosses is 3 minutes and 30 seconds. This is only sort of different for Hera and Athena, because you have to bring down the wall at first, that magic wall. So that one takes about an additional 30 seconds to spawn Athena. Um, you want to grind these bosses with a group of 20 or more people. If you don't, you might not be able to kill the Hydra, which is the last bounty. Uh, that being said, with groups that large, each boss fight takes about a minute to a minute and 30 seconds. So we're going to lean on the side of caution and say it takes a minute and 30 seconds. Uh, meaning each boss spawn time plus the fight is 5 minutes each. That just makes it easy. So that means it takes about 25 minutes per full like cycle of the bounties. Each boss will give you 8 ether, and the Hydra will give you 14. That allots you 46 per cycle. Now you start by getting 6 per boss and 12 per Hydra, but if you level up your large augments you'll get an additional 1 ether per large augment for a max bonus of 2 per boss. So I highly suggest doing that if you're planning to farm this ether like this. So that being said, you get 46 ether every 25 minutes. This means you'll get about 110 ether per hour. If you grind for one hour a day, you'll end up with 770 aether per week. This DLC is supposed to last five months. So, you know, that's 20 weeks. 20 weeks times 770 aether is 15,400 aether which is absolutely more than enough to get everything out of the vendor, uh, even some like bonus stuff if you want it. So, you know, that being said, that requires at least one hour a day every day, but with how much extra you'll have, you definitely don't need to do it every day, but I suggest doing it at least twice a week, at the very least, for an hour. Um, other than that, that is the fastest way to farm ether, at least for right now. Now, they may introduce some kind of, you know, they always do bonus currency. So they may give us a bonus currency week or weekend for aether, where it's times two or times three or, you know, if I'm being honest, maybe times five. That'd be super nice. I don't see that happening, the times five, but, you know, it'd be nice. Um, that's really it. There, there's no way to sugarcoat this. You do have to grind. This is the only way to get the elite weapon. It's the only way to get the elite rings and the elite necklace. It's the only way to get all of that stuff. I'll be making a follow-up video, speaking of things that you can get for Aether. Uh, talking about if the vendor mods are worth it, or... Uh, if you need the bonus from the elite weapon, all the stuff like that. So be on the lookout for those uploads, they'll be happening soon. Uh, that is it for this video though. I just wanted to make this video and put the math out there so that people can plan, you know, grinding. Because I know a lot of leagues like to plan around stuff like this. So there you go, there's the math, that's all I have for you. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.